Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk with a wobbly phone. I think we're settled now. Okay, so good morning, it's Thursday and it's cuppa and cards time. Today I'm going to be using Whale Done, which is a fun set. I had it out on my desk because I am going to um, be making a birthday card for a child later on. I've used it probably for all my children's <laughs> cards this last few months. So I'm just what I'm trying to do just now is just find myself on my page so that I can um, follow your discussions, right? So. Oh, here we are. No, that's not it. That was a Christmas one that we did the luxury card. We did. My goodness, why is it not coming up? This is what happens every week. Right, let me just... Unless I'm not... I'm sure I'm live. Oh, here we are. I did see it was coming on my business page. And here we are now. We oh. did the Mm. Now I'm getting an echo because I forgot to put the volume off. Right, sorry, I think we should be sorted now. Hi Steph. Steph, if you want me to send you that um, message, just uh, message me and I'll get that in the post later on for you. Line doing nothing anyway if you want it. Right, so I don't know why I'm not... Do you know my phone is... I'm using a bigger phone than usual because... It's got better memory. I usually use my old phone. But this just doesn't seem to be one into... Let me just move that along. Hi, Anne Harrod. Kia ora. Right. I don't know what the light's like. It's a bright day today, so it's hard to know what light to put on my desk. But then as soon as I settle down, I'm sorry if I'm making you feel seasick with the moving. As soon as I settle down, the sun will go in or something. Okay, so well, let's see what we can do today. Right, so I've been looking at Well Done and I've used it a lot. As you can see, this is all the paper I've got. Yeah, it's no problem to stick it in the post step, just uh, message me your address and then, um, oh you have to just cover the postage because otherwise it's lying here doing nothing. Right, so I've got not a lot left and I was watching a lady on YouTube this morning, you know, as you do and you're um, having your coffee. And she was doing silhouettes type stamping on a background that she'd made. And her background is fantastic. So it's Karen Haddon, stampingbees.co.nz. Um, yeah, I think her YouTube name is Stampin' Bees. Never seen her before, but Karen... If you see, catch this on YouTube, because I will let you know that I have cased your idea, certainly. I'm not doing the background she do, did, but she did her own background, which is amazing. But she was stamping with these stamps and doing kind of silhouettes. And I thought, well, I want to do that. But on the background that she did is a bit long to be doing on her cup and cards. I might do it on YouTube or might just give you all the link to her so you can see what she did. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of different ways to use her method. But anyway, back to where we are today. So I've not got a lot of the designer series paper yet, but to get, I wanted to do some quick cards to show how lovely this set is. And I've got some scraps, but what I did was I pulled out um, our Whisper White note cards and envelopes. This is an amazing pack of, because you've got wee card bases, sort of notelet size, and all the envelopes, you get 20 in a pack. They are in the annual catalogue at the back 
Oh, and Hannah, De well done, say it's fantastic, especially for you island livers. You know, if you, you you're the sea is all around you, so yeah, it's a good one. So these are fantastic. These um, note cards, they fold down now. Just to give you an idea, they are smaller than the normal card base that I would use. Oh, sorry, but this is getting in the way. Right, yeah. So these wee note cards are, as you see, five by three and a half. So because I measured, I mean, it's a bit of a, with when you do centimetres, a bit of a fitter. It's something like 8.9 by 12.7 so in, in the interest of just using kind of whole numbers I've got I'm using inches today so what I've done is I've cut five Knight of Navy pieces of card I'm using up scraps so I went in my scrap box and I pulled out some scraps and I've managed to I think I've cut six but I'm only really intending to do five cards I think we'll see what happens so these are four inches by two and a half inches and as you see they layer on to the card quite nicely but leaving you a really nice border of white at the back and then I've cut some scraps of the designer series paper from the Well Done Suite and they are an eighth of an inch smaller all the way round so that would be three and seven eighths by two and three eighths my brain's fried so what I'm going to do is add to the paper and just make little note cards okay now I'm going to just show you ahead of time where my head is going so if I make a set of note cards we have these amazing what we call pumpkin size pizza boxes they're replicate the paper pumpkin well paper pumpkin um kit that stampin up do in north america it's a subscription kit but this year we've already got um the sunshine one in the uk and the rest of the market we got that one in june and then we've got another one coming at the beginning of november and it's a christmas theme so i'm really excited about it so if if our customers really buy this, the paper pumpkins, we might be able to per eventually persuade the company that we really would like to have subscriptions in the UK as well. But if there's not a big take up on these single ones, then it's likely that they'll make the decision that it's not a good business decision for them because getting all this stuff here to the UK ship from the US would be considerable cost and logistics so these but anyway like back to where I am so these little pumpkin back boxes paper pumpkin style boxes obviously th these are smaller than the box that your paper pumpkin kit would come in but there's the same style and what's really clever about them is these note cards and envelopes fit in them perfectly so you can put your envelopes in and you put your cards in. So I was thinking what a lovely little de I can decorate the box and what and, I'm, and then these wee ears go in there. How fab would that be to make a lovely set of note cards? I may have done something similar to this I think when I decorated one of these boxes with the peony the peony rose sweet. Anywho back to stamping because that's what we came to do but see method in my madness beautiful okay, we might do something like that for Christmas too a, a set of cards would be handy and this we are wheel of a time sequins we have I've shown you some of the designer series paper we've got this whale builder punch and guess what the whale punches out some of the whales that are on the designer series paper some scrap here I'll be able to punch out a wheel or two and I'll be doing some stamping so yeah I'm going to make five cards using this suite so let's see where we go from here so first of all we'll do some stamping I think um, let me see what if we I just cut 
peel. That's cool, isn't it? With it's still got the wee turtles on it. I could, you, I may have cut it to use that side. So now I don't know what side. Hi, Renee, and you come. Don't know which size sides I'm going to use. This one's good because it it's a scrap of another piece. But it, in fact, they're both much the same. That it's like the light coming down through the water. But look, it's got shoals of fish on the back. So I'm going to use one that way and one that way, I think. Don't know what's sensible with these fish. That way, I think. Right, so let's stamp first. Let's take these two first and do a bit of stamping. Now, if you're concerned about... I'm, I'm going to use either Black or Knight of Navy. We'll use... We'll start off with Knight of Navy and see how that goes since I'm using my scrap Knight of Navy here. Now I did have a quick practice and that was with black so let's just clean what stamps I've got out. Right. Of course my stamp cleaner chamois is here. Put that near me so that that would make this all a bit easier. Right, so we have, where's the stamp set? I adore this, I absolutely adore this. So we have turtle stamp, some coral, some bubbles, some fishes, seahorse, some greenery, we have a jellyfish that's already on a block. The whale, of course, because that's what it's all about. But there's a bit of me just wants to use all these little stamps. Bubbles are good. Let's just play. We'll do this one first. And so we could have... I think we'll have some foliage. Obviously I'll be stamping off a bit, but hey, that's all right. That's what the pad's for. So let's put, so again you just need one colour I think. You could use your stamparatus if you want your colour to be really dark and you can go over it. But I quite like, these stamps are quite textured. Um, I like the, yeah I like the texture that you get. Oh, and then you could have, let's see what else will we have at this bit, bit of the coral in front of that maybe. Just a wee bit on the edge there. Now, what are we gonna ha who are we going to have in here? We could have a wee... I need to get some smaller blocks out, but... I'm going to put a wee seahorse in the grasses, because they tend to like to hide, don't they? So you just do little scenes, really. And then... Will we have some jellyfish in this one? Yeah, there's a lovely wee heart here as well. Yeah, it's just spab. Just have the tail end of a jellyfish there. Yeah, I'm liking it. Um, maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe that's enough. Just some wee fishes because I love these wee fishes. These wee fishes can go both, both ways.
Now they can go both directions because of the shape of them. This is very pussy, isn't it? There you go. Right, and then that will go on to there and then on to our card. What I'm trying to think of is that I might use these for thank you cards or I might use them. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. Well done. It's, it's where I would fit the sentiment on that I'm trying to think about here. So let's have a look. So we've got well done and we've got thanks a ton that are quite small. And my love for you. So let's, I don't think I would use these tiny wee cards for birthday cards. So I'm not going to use them. Let's have a wee let's put a sentiment on and then we can kind of see how where we're going so see as usual i didn't prepare this no practicing it's good fun damping on the dsp because a lot of the work's done the textures there the depth you know that the, the work's done for you so now ink up this stamp and i think i'll just pop this one my love for you is bigger than the ocean. So pop that right in the corner there. Um, my issue today will be glue. I've still got four bottles lying on my desk. Look at me! Look! Ink. No use. Start again, Janice. Why have, how have I done that? I don't see much ink on my hand. Must have had the stamp. Right, I'll try to start again because just because I can. Please make sure when you're stamping. Hi Rails, in you come. That you've not got ink on your fingers. Just take a bit of care. I'm not quite sure what I did. You probably saw what I did easier than I did. Saw what I did. Right, I will use that card up for something else but I'll do stamping on the background. In fact, I might come back to that show you. should I show you how to fix that yeah I should should I rather than just making another one do you know what to do we would just have stamping over the card although I just look I've got I've got um mess there too but great start but do you know what is reality and it's what you're like do you know Right, I've got a bit of card here with a straight edge so I'll just pop that there so that I don't end up stamping on there but what we can do is a bit of stamping in the corners and we could use something other than we could use the turtle because he's big enough to Camouflage that. Now I'm just ink him up. Okay, I put the ink at the back out of the way so I wouldn't be putting my fingers in it or anything. So if he's coming on there, and then my blob's gone. So I don't know whether to stamp all over or just let's just have a look. There's where the ink's coming from. Look, my the edge of my finger, right? Are you laughing at me? Quite good, maybe to keep a damp, damp um, cloth beside you when you're stamping. If you're like me, so therefore we've just made a decision that we need another turtle here. Yes, Steph, I think it's quite chilly. I'm about to ask my hubby because he's just been out for a run. He's off today. This turtle's swimming off the page like <laughs> decapitated. <laughs> well, we'll put another one up here, will we? Let's just... This is not where I thought I was going. 
think we better put his pal there just to just kind of put that bit of context there. Let's see if that's just this is just because I got blobby inks was never my intention but do you know what it, it we're stamping so let's have fun with our stamping right i might just, if none of these work then i'll get a new one out No, oh, they're challenging me this morning. It's my own fault. There we go. They all just need a bit of poking about with the pokey tool. There's glue in every one of them. Now I've got a wee jar here somewhere on my desk to pop this in. It's an old canned water folder. It's just the right size. And then we'll just layer this up. Quite, um, I'm not quite monochrome, but it is kind of a this one. Oh, could, you could put that on with dimensionals and give it a bit of a. That's a good idea, but the way <laughs> yeah, it's a very good idea, but it would be really hard to line that up for me. I would probably get enough. And how that is a fab and fun idea, but I'll end up getting more ink on me than the car. But I'm going to try because you're, you've just made a good point. Or the back, or the oh. we call it the folded turtle. Wonder if I've got a, if a pencil mark. Why is it you've got a hundred pencils lying around and when you go for one, you can't see it? Right, so if I... I've just put two tiny wee, tiny wee notches there, just so I would know. It was just the edge of his head, so we'll just pop them. There you go, Anne Harrod. I think I've done it. And then some dimensionals. I need to get a shift on. I was going to make five cards and we're, I don't know, we're just 25 minutes and I probably took five minutes to get us set up, didn't I? And tell you where I was heading. So we should be all right. of my dimensionals so you see you don't always have to know exactly what you're going to do before you start well that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it there you go A wee ocean card, that's fun. One. With the added excitement of the turtle's head being on the inside. He's folded himself round. Yeah, a wee giggle and yeah. Great. Right, one done. I'm gonna pop it in the box to keep it clean. Right, next, and we'll bring it out later. Right, we'll just take them as they come. Right, this one is going to be an up and downy because it's the only way that it makes sense to me. 
And that's the thing, when you are stamping, it's got to make sense to you. Right, so... See, there's where I'm getting into trouble, look. It's because I keep lifting inky stamps that I've not cleaned with my hands. Look, night of navy girl. Let's just use the wet. The chamois just a bit on the wet side, but it might just be. Look at the state of that. I've got a nice new one. But when I decided I was going to use dark colours today, I didn't want to bring it out right. So I think we'll just stick with night of navy. It's working perfectly fine. Right, let's try and not get too messy. So let's just, again, put some putting a bit of foliage at the front gives it a bit of perspective some at that side maybe I'm going to turn that so I can just and we have a smaller one and we've got the coral so we can add them in if we want and this time this time we'll get the turtles in since I've already got him on here. Put the turtle actually in the card. And he's just coming out of the seaweed. With his pal in there I've decapitated another one. Oh well. If I'm clever enough I should be able to put... Well, do that on the card but we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see um what else are we going to put in here i don't know if we should try a reveal coming down here or not if he's too big oof why not it's all about the wheels anyway, isn't it? I like the way that they've kind of got a translucent effect here. down here peeking what's that oh where's the bubbles can actually see his wee spout hole or what. Of course they've got them squint but somewhere. I'll turn that one round might get more bubbles. There we go. That'll do. Again it's just about quick and easy pretty cards. I think maybe the coral Clean the wheel before you take it off, Janice. You're getting less mess. Notice I said less, not that I won't get in a mess. And then just some coral along the bottom. And your wheel's really hiding in there. There we go. Enough is enough. Still covered, look. Again, we'll layer this one on. So again, just play with your paper. You can stamp on your designer series paper with any of your stamp sets. I mean, obviously not to pick something too dark, but... 
or you could stamp and heat emboss and that would show up. Now, here's the thing, my decapitated turtle here. Yeah. So I'm going to be putting that higher up because I'm going to put a sentiment here. I think, yeah, well done, I'll fit there. So I'm just going to put it on the little block, take the bubbles off, put them on there just now so I'll know where they are. So what's everybody doing? Who's ready for bed? Who's just getting up and moving? And who's still in bed? Because around the world we're all different. Just going to pop the wheel done, done sort of in the middle of this one. Let's hope it stamps nicely. Yay! Could have been better Janice, but hey. What my school teachers always said, could have done better. I'm always keeping something back. <laughs> You're all very quiet. What's happening? Now that's where that's going to go about there. So I'm just thinking on Anne Harrod's theme to pop a wee turtle here. You're in bed, I thought you might be Anne Harrod. I'm just going to put a couple of pencil marks there. I'll probably not manage this, but um, I'm going to try. Except I don't know where I've put my turtle. Oh, here he is. I slipped there. Ugh, Janice. I will just ignore that. I don't know if... Yeah, so see if I put that, stick that about there. Just looks like he's eating a fish or something. Again, it's just fun. Hi Janice, and you come. We're playing with Whale Done, as you see today. I'm just going to glue this one flat because that way it'll let me line that up. Wrong glue, isn't it? I'll just glue. Give him a very long head. I think we'll slide this a wee bit further along. I give him like a neck, like a giraffe or something. <laughs> there you go. Just trying to straighten that a wee bit at the top. I'm so busy trying to line the turtle up. I forgot about my card, but hey. There you go. It's fun. just won't move now. The glue has gripped so we'll just go with it. Bone folder, where are you? Because this is what's... That's it. So there we go, we've got two so far. So we're, damp we're stamping on our scraps of designer series paper, Janice. And I'm just playing with wheel done here. And um, what have we got left? Oh, 
Again, you don't have to be doing a lot of stamping. You could be, we could punch out a wheel or two. Let's have a look. Because that's what this set is kind of about. Wheels, isn't it? Oops. So. Might have to do a bit of snip in here. Janice, everything's sticking to me today. So again, you don't have to have the whole image when you're designing a series paper because this can go on the edge. So just kind of make sure your white borders roughly. Again, you could fussy cut as well, or you could just stamp one and use it. But I just thought for a bit of fun, the wheels can be probably going after the So again we could keep this simple and we can just put a sentiment on here and not on the card. Hi Heather, in you come. So this time, what one have I not used? Thanks, a ton. Because, well I suppose the ton is referring to the wheel. I think I've got a smaller block because I'm, yeah, I've got, I do have other blocks, you know. Use them Janice. are done. I'm thinking as well to stamp a wheel because where will I st I'll stamp the wheel because it'll be like stamp one further in and then pop this one. What did I say Heather? I can't even remember what I said. Come away in. We can have that one about there. And then this one coming in behind them, these V Pal. So we can't you could um you can use use the glue that works, Janice. You can use um or the one that did work dimensionals or the foam sheets to do this and pop them up. I have to do something this is becoming I'm not opening a new glue until I finish these. But I hadn't put I've, I don't know why, but the lids are not around. I must have chucked the lids out thinking they were from old glues. You know, don't learn from me. Don't don't make the same mistakes. I have got another idea coming to me as well here. So just cut along your paper there, try and get it straight though. that one on here so I mean it doesn't have to be totally all involved this is ah! the glues are all in the bottom drawer 
I'm at he's a challenge today. I've got a suspicion that this one's about to run out, but let's see. That's better. You're using tape though, you just have to take a bit longer to make sure you're straight before you commit. I've got, I've got ink everywhere. Right, another card out. The envelope out of the way. Oh, and I've got another one open here. in the middle but I'm thinking that we could easily punch out another wheel and put this one on with dimensional so we've got a real group of wheels it's just fun and it's quick and easy I don't have them, James. It took me a minute to see what you were talking about there, Anna Haraj. So I'm thinking I'll get this stuck down and then there we go, like that. Or he could be further on, couldn't he? We put him about there on dimensionals. Right, let's get this stuck down first. Come on, glue. Play games. Play the game. Oh, see, you've got loads now. <laughs> it's just because we're coming to the end of it. So I'm making this into something it doesn't need to be. So here we're coming with our third card. Want it to be the right way up, though, Janice. try and put this one kind of central so as I've shown you you can just have fun playing with your leftover you know bits of designer series paper I'm determined to not have so much left this time when the catalogues change over so that's why I'm getting on with using it and then a couple of dimensionals on this wheel I will bring in the sequins in a wee minute as well, I think. I'll take the backings off this wheel. And we'll leave that tail there. So, so far, we're doing good. There's three. Let's see if we have time for a fourth. Yeah, I think so. So I say, I have no idea what I'm, where I'm going as I start. I'm just, I'm just doing. Right, so this one. We'll just add some. What have we not used? Not a lot that we haven't used. We can use our turtle. We could have some love in there. We could have turtles kissing. Now there is a way to do... Where is my turtle? He swam away. Here he is, up here. Now, if I've got my... Silicone sheet. And the words are not coming today. And my cards are jumping all over the place.
Yeah, that's what I thought. I kind of thinking sometimes I don't. Right, what about seeing if we can achieve kiss and turtles and if it doesn't work we can cover it over with a wheel or something. So if I pop that there. And I then, I mean this goes wrong, it goes wrong. If I then stamp on my silicone sheet. I'm going to do it towards this edge actually. Make sure I've got plenty. Sometimes I do this with the Stamparatus because you can make sure there's plenty. This isn't, this may not work so well because it's a textured stamp but you know what the only way to know if it works is to try. So that gives us a turtle facing the other way and that stuck to my paper so I'm just having to go with it. I was going to put them a bit closer but so this would be good if you had friends that were into diving or something like that. You could make that into as well it's sort of ghostly that's all right though. You see where I'm going so then you could have your wee heart in the murky waters. Love grows everywhere. There you go. And then we can put our wee fish in. We've already got seahorses there. Do they fit? Oh, well, they'll fit that way. So just add into the scene and we can have fish going the other way, turn them round. Such a versatile stamp that it can go both ways. So it's a busy wee scene but they've managed to meet up there. What you can do is to make that look more in the background is just have some fish women in front but you can still see the turtle so it's a bit like um oh my brain went had an idea and then it took it away again kathy kathy <laughs> that's a cool other than heights <laughs> oh red janice well this would be a fantastic set for you you see a big part of their lives i don't think that needs much more it's a bit of fun, isn't it? So this one has to have the love. Look at the state of my fingers. To just layer it up onto the Knight of Navy doesn't want to go. Come on glue, I'm not, I'm not giving up. I don't know that you really came on here today to watch me fight with a bottle of glue but I know there's more in it. Together, and I'm gonna so in some ways this could be these cards they could be windows well not windows but tanks in a big aquarium one of the I, I do like to visit an aquarium one that made a huge huge impression on me that I really enjoyed was one um, is it the Aquarium of Western Australia? It's in Perth. 
on the rest of Australia. That was amazing. All, all aquariums are amazing, but uh, that one I just spent a full, full day there and could have gone back. Sat for hours watching. Right, I'm going to put. Obviously, I need a love sentiment on this card. I'm just going to pop this down right in this corner here, like I did with a previous one, because I know it'll fit okay. So it's really just about playing with what you've got and thinking out the box and try not to get covered like this. I think it's an affliction I've got. Must have an ink magnet in me. It's in my blood, my royal blood. Right, and then to stick this on. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stick this on. Yep, look, there's lots of glue in it. It's just being stubborn. sure it's straight turn it over give it a wee obviously you can stamp inside as well and you can decorate but I'll leave that bit to you I'm pleased with this reset like, have you time to hang about and I'll just do the last one I won't get in the box decorated today I can do that another day Right, so who's going to be in this sea? Ooh -hoo. I think we'll have some jellyfish in here because I love that. There'll be jellyfish don't really bounce about on the waves, do they? Maybe whales and turtles show up better there. Let's put some greenery, well, bluery. We will have a turtle, I think, or two, and maybe a whale. Now I'm going to try and not decapitate any turtles this time. It's just fun, Heather. Do you know, I'm just in the mood for a bit of fun. A whole turtle, not a decapitated one, and then we can have some jellyfish. A very busy sea or aquarium, if that's for you. And because the, you've got your background already on your designer series paper scraps, you know, you just don't. Why is it okay to decapitate a jellyfish, but it's not okay to do a turtle? I don't get that. <laughs> it doesn't bother me when I did that. But when I decapitate, I think it's because you can see his eyes. Like that's what my issue is. Hey. Fishies. I know it. Oh, do you know what? I have got the seabed folder and I, I did have it in my head that we would use it. Why don't I put this through before I stick it on? I was, well, that was in my head earlier, Heather. I'm glad you said that out loud. Now, let me get the 
the thought of it goes with this is divine. Will I be able to find it? Oh. Yes, here it is. Oh, thank you. You rescued me there. I did mean to put others through. Let me just get my machine and my plates. The right plate this time, Janice. Not got a lot of room here, but let's just do it. Just to show you, if you do buy it, I think sometimes you do buy the whole suite of something. Instead of having a whole lot of different stamp sets and things, have buy a couple of sweets that you you like, and then you can mix and match. And so if I just pop this in here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just one I need here and my speciality plate so this machine is just great I'm just going to see if I can put this scene a bit straighter I'm not sure how much that you're seeing right now I did want to put some sequins on as well I better get a move on but then if I decide to do sequins, I don't know where, oh yeah, I do know where my glue dots are. Because the sequins that go with this sweet are pretty clever too. Right, take that out. I'll get the machine out of the beat and then I'll reveal. Sorry, I'm going to be running over a wee bit, but I was later starting, we'll justify it like that. So look, it's got some texture, sea bait, seaweed, and I mean, it's a lovely, lovely folder. I think I might have done it squint. I might have done... Oh, it's all right, because it works. Yay. Works in any direction, really. Right, so I want to pop this. <gasps> there's lots of adhesives so if one doesn't work there's always another one just have to take a bit more time when you use the tape runners when you're laying down to make sure you're see you're not that's not straight Whenever you know that people are watching it, just harder. Rub it down, but don't not too hard because you don't want to um, lose the texture. Yeah, I wish I'd put some of the others through there first. Right, one more. Oh God, to finish this off. How are we going to? Here we go. That one's going to go up and down. So this one could have, what are the sentiments that I've got left? I think the thanks one, I'll just pop that because it just fit, just because it fits. I love the jellyfish. It's a, it's a great stamp. It's just such a fun set to use and have fun with. So let's just quickly finish this one off. Thanks a ton. I think we can put the ink away. We'll pop this one up on dimensionals if I can find them. That's because I don't want to fight with the glue, so I'll use the dimensionals. I'm just I'm gonna to have to have a bit pokey in all these glue bottles and see if I can get them flowing and then use them up. It's not much, you've got four or five bottles on your desk and knowing that there's stuff in. I'm, I'm Scottish and I'm frugal. <laughs> Again, just want to sort of make sure it's going to be straight. I 
and not annoy your eye. There we go, so we've got, we have now got five cards, a set of five cards, all different. I hadn't a clue really, except I was going to stamp on design a series paper when I came on. I didn't really know how it was all going to work out. I was just basically praying it would. These two there. So I'm thinking we need some of the sequins and I showed you them at the beginning. So where do you think I've put them? Has anybody seen them? Here they are right beside us. Let's put the stamp. I've stuck some stamps to the top of the box. I'll put them over for cleaning. And I've got my Take your pick tool. I don't have that. I've got the putty bit. Here's the putty end. I've got the brush end on, so it's not much good. That might be helpful for lifting. That's not wanting to come out that glue bottle, so I'm just. And then when I squeeze it, I get too much, so we'll just use... So we've got a bit of putty here. Or is this one the one that's nearly done? Right. Oh so a few sequins. Oh look, one's jumped out. If we love a time sequins. Now these are pretty clever, because look... We have some that are seashells, like wee teeny wee, oops, yeah but maybe a wee dot of glue would be the way to go. Nah, that won't. My glue dots I saw you. Just kind of make the glue dot a wee bit smaller by folding it a bit and then oh, the party's coming with it too right so you can pop some we'll just have to go in and see what we get don't know if that one can just pick up a I'm getting putty too, so that's not really very good. Don't want putty on the top of my sequin. You get my drift. Right, see what else we've got. It's just a, I just have to go fishing to see what I get. Maybe not press so hard, Janice. I aim it at the top of the glue dot and then I can bring that down there. And then another one, little one maybe. Really pretty. Now, I did have pretty ribbon that goes with this as well, but... I don't think these cards need ribbon. It's beautiful. It's a sheer ribbon. Have a good day, Janice. Hey, Heather, even. Just pop that one there. So that's that one. This one's got a couple of wee shells on it. Will we put another wee shell? So again, you can just go through them and decorate them as you please with your sequins. I've put a couple on just to get you started. So where did we start off? We started off with this one and I managed to put an ink blob on it. So I stamped some turtles and then we realised that I chopped this one's head off. So what we did was 
we put his head so he's gone he's just turned around the corner he's folded himself over on the page and then we've just layered that on top i had an ink blob there so i hid that with that one and then we've got then did we do i don't know what we did next but i think we did this this one the wheels and then we've done this one where we punched out wheels as well and added so this one's got a bit more colour in it and then this one with the um, turtle lovers meeting in the sea and the murkiness and then this one that we put through the embossing folder so yeah there you go a set of five cards which will fit into this um, box which we will decorate with the same theme um, I'll let, if you remind me to ask me next week I'll let you see how I decorate this and this will go as I set into the box with five envelopes and that's a lovely gift once I've decorated the box you can stamp the, on the box then you can tie over it so I might undo it all and then stamp on it and then I can tie might use the lovely ribbon that goes with this I'll let you have a quick look before I go the ribbon is just lovely just really for the benefit of anyone who's thinking of buying this sweet I would say go for it look at that beautiful shimmer ribbon it's just so delicate so yeah, thanks very much everybody. Take care. We're, we're just ran a few minutes late, but we were a few minutes late starting. So thank you very much. I will pop this up to YouTube later today. Um, so stay safe. Thank you. See you all next week.